Resist all attempts. Anytime somebody comes into your life, anytime somebody comes into your space and tries to upset you, anger you, try to imbalance your energy, they are not a friend. They are not a family. They are not an ally. They are a spiritual vampire who has come to steal your ashe. Don't let nobody steal your ashe. This is why we have to become spiritually and emotionally liberated. You cannot be spiritually liberated unless you are emotionally liberated. You cannot be spiritually liberated until you are emotionally liberated. You don't want to let negative emotions take over your life. If you allow the spiritual vampire in your space for too long, if you allow the spiritual vampires in your space for too long, they will suck your spiritual energy. Your ashe will be sucked. And this is why black man and black woman, I know every once in a while, a sister wants some icing on her cupcakes. I understand every once in a while, a sister wants some icing on her cupcakes. Black man, I know every once in a while, you want some cookies with your milk. I understand every once in a while, a sister needs to get her cookies warmed up and she need to get her cupcakes warmed up. And brothers, every once in a while, you need some cupcakes and cookies with your milk. But I'm telling you, the quickest way to a spiritual depletion is to lay down with a wounded soul sexually. I said the quickest way to a spiritual depletion is to lay down with a wounded soul. You have to meditate every day. You have to get quiet. Go into the sacred space of your inner self. You have to close the physical eye so your third spiritual eye will open. I said you have to close your two physical eyes so your third spiritual eye will open. Now, the third eye can be open when the physical eyes are open, but the third eye opens up and can see much better when the physical eyes are closed. I said your third eye can only experience 2020 vision when the physical eyes are closed. I said the third eye can only see when the physical eye can no longer see. Understand, overstand, and understand me. Understand, overstand, and understand me. Understand, overstand, when your two physical eyes are open. When your two physical eyes are open, you are living in a world of illusion and distraction. See, how am I going to connect to my inner self if I'm looking at Big, fat, juicy asses walking by. Black woman, how are you going to connect to your inner self and you looking at broad shoulders and, you know, handsome brothers walking by? You can't. You are constantly distracted by music and images and clothes and bodies and gossip and talk and socialization. You got to close your physical eye so your third eye can open. The third eye can't see perfectly until the physical eye is closed. I said your spiritual eye cannot see until your physical. That's why you got to get quiet. Close your eyes. I love closing my eyes. Let the conversation of the unconscious get quiet. Let all the thoughts and conversations you have in with yourself Get quiet and listen to spirit. Now, guess what? We have five senses, don't we? We can see. We can hear. We can touch. We can taste. And we can smell. We can see. With the physical eye, we can taste with the physical tongue. We can smell with the physical nose. We can feel with the physical hands. We can hear with the physical ear. But guess what? God 
has given all Africans the original man and a woman, the Africoids. God has given the Africoid, the African, four spiritual senses. Most of you have not developed your four spiritual senses. And the reason you have not been able to develop your four spiritual senses is because you never take a break from using your five physical senses. I said, most of us never develop our spiritual sense because we never take a break from our physical sense. Let me explain to you. What are the four spiritual senses? Clear voyance. Clear voyance. Clear voyance is the ability to see and receive through vision and dream. Future and current realities and the solutions for those future and current realities. The third eye is the channel of clairvoyance. You ever dreamt somebody was going to die? You ever dreamt somebody was pregnant? You ever saw a problem? You ever saw a problem before it happened? You ever saw a problem before it happened? You said, wait a minute. That came to me in my dream last night. I saw that I was going to have a boy before I even got pregnant. I knew my nephew was going to get shot if he went outside last night. I tried to keep him in the house. That is your clairvoyance. That is your third eye showing you the future before the future even gets here. But the problem is most of us will only get a clairvoyant message once a year, once a month, once a birthday, once in a lifetime, once in a season, once in a decade, once in a generation. Brothers and sisters, you should be getting clairvoyant messages on a regular basis. They might not come every day, but you should be getting messages from spirit through your third eye all the time. The reason you're only getting them some of the time is you are not going into meditation to connect with the I am that I am. I said you are not meditating enough so you can get in contact with the I am that I am. We all are clairvoyant. The question is not whether you are clairvoyant. All Africans are clairvoyant because we are God's original people. We all have clairvoyance. The question is, has you developed it yet? The only question is, have you developed your clairvoyant ability? That is the only question. Are you meditating enough? You don't meditate in church, you pray. You don't meditate in the mosque, you pray. You don't meditate in the temple, the Jehovah Witness Hall, the Methodist Church. They don't do meditation, they do prayer. Prayer is important, but prayer is not sufficient. When you pray, you are petitioning God for something you need. When you pray, you are petitioning God for something that you need. When you meditate, you get quiet so God can communicate with you so you know how to get the needs met. I said prayer is the request, meditation is the answer. I said prayer is the request, Meditation is the answer. I said prayer is the request, but if you don't meditate, brothers and sisters, you will never get the answer. And married men and married women, y'all need to meditate. 
Married men and married women, y'all need to meditate. Mother, meditate with your son. Father, meditate with your daughter. All the family should meditate. Pray together and then meditate together. Meditation is how you get the answers. So you have clairvoyance, the ability to see things before they happen so you can prevent them. Clairvoyance, the ability to see things before they happen so you can maximize or prevent. Number two, clairsentience. Clairsentience. Clairsentience is the ability to feel something good is about to happen or something bad is about to happen. Clairsentience is the ability to feel something good is about to happen, something bad is about to happen. Clairsentience is the ability to feel this woman ain't living right. Clairsentience is the ability to feel this man ain't living right. Clairsentience is the ability to feel this organization is not for me. Clairsentience is the ability to feel Dr. Umar was sent by the ancestors. I can feel Dr. Umar's vibration. I can feel that brother's spirit. I can feel him. Clairsentience is the ability to feel what's going on around you. Your spidey senses. Your spidey senses. Your spidey sense. A lot of black women have clear sentience for their children. Most women have clear sentience for your children because all children are forever a part of their mother. We are also a part of our father, but the relationship between father and child prenatally is totally different between the relationship between mother and child prenatally. We live in our mother's gut for 10 months. We live in our mother's gut for 10 months. Fathers, we have to build that spiritual connection with our children. Fathers, we have to build that spiritual connection for our children. Mothers build it those 10 months that we live inside of our mother for 10 months. So there's never no separating a child from mother spiritually unless there was an attachment disruption that spiritually separated the mother from the child. And so some healing work needs to be done. But a mother is forever connected with their child. So that's clear. I have a very strong ancestral clairsentience. Dr. Umar has a very strong ancestral clairsentience. If somebody I love is about to join the ancestors, if somebody I was close with is about to join the ancestors, or if they have already joined the ancestors, I will feel death. I will feel I have the ability to know someone close to me, friend, family, classmate, coworker, organizational ally, neighbor. If they are terminally ill and they don't have a long time to be with us, I can feel the spirit. I won't know who it is. I'm continuing to work on my clear sentience. I won't know who it is, but I will definitely know that somebody I care about is about to leave me. When my cousin Shanika passed, I felt it before she left me. When my childhood friend Randy passed, I felt it before he left me. When my grandmothers passed, I felt it before they left me. And I have had that power ever since I received my ancestral initiation at the Oyotunji African village. I have had that power ever since I received my ancestral initiation at the Oyotunji African village. So my ancestral initiation woke up my clear sentience for the ancestors. 
Now we have clear audience. Clear audience. The ability to hear truth or spirit. Some people actually hear voices who tell them what to do. Some of you have developed your ability to hear voices. Your ancestors literally talk to you. Your spirit guides literally talk to you. Your ruling Orishas, your ruling, your ruling Abusam, your ruling Netters, your ruling Loas, they literally talk to you. Some of you have the ability to hear voices. Some of you need an answer and you will hear a voice out of the clear blue sky give you the answer. You might say, should I go over here to shop or should I go over here to shop? And a voice out of nowhere, usually an ancestor, will tell you, go to Walmart. And you're like, what the hell? Did something just tell me where to go? That's clear scent, excuse me, clear audience, the ability to hear. These are in no order. Clairvoyance, the ability to see. Clairsentience, the ability to feel. Clairaudience, the ability to hear. And then you have intuition. Intuition, the ability to know without any evidence at all. Intuition, the ability to know without evidence. I would argue of the five spiritual senses that we have, intuition is the most detached in the African mind because the white man has convinced us of the five spiritual senses, intuition has been the most destroyed in the African mind because European science, Eurocentric pseudoscience has convinced us if you don't have no proof, it can't be true. If you don't have no evidence, it can't be true. If you didn't see it with the physical eye, if you didn't hear it with the physical ear, if you didn't feel it with the physical body, it cannot be true. The white man has destroyed the black man's intuitive nature. We have an intuitive nature as the original man and woman, and our intuitive nature has been destroyed by European pseudoscience. I want you to understand, overstand, and understand. I want you to understand, overstand, and understand. You're going to have to work hard to build your spiritual ability to know divine knowing. Divine knowing. I know I shouldn't take this job. I know I shouldn't go to that party. I know I shouldn't get on this plane. I know I shouldn't have sex with that man. I know I shouldn't loan him no money. I know no, this ain't my child. I know. And guess what? The white man will come along and tell you you're crazy. The white man will come along and tell you you're crazy. The white man will come along and convince you that you are crazy. You know what they used to do to African women who had that ability to know things, divine knowing what they used to do to black women who had the ability to know without proof. Talk to me, black women. Talk to me, black women. What they used to do to sisters who had the ability to know things without no evidence. They called them witches and they burned them at the stake. They called them witches and they burned them at the stake. Whenever they found a black woman who was blessed with divine knowing, Divine intelligence, you was considered evil. You was considered wicked. They told people to stay away from you. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What they tell you in the church. 
A lot of you black women go to church, they tell you that's the devil's work because God blessed you with the ability to know, the ability to see, the ability to feel. That's right. You go to the masjid and you sitting in the masjid and you like, I have the ability to know things. I can hear things and I get all kind of information in my dreams. And what do they tell you in the world religions? They tell you that's the devil. Anything that's not in them damn books is automatically considered the devil. Anything that's not in those books is automatically considered the devil. I don't have a problem with the religions, brothers and sisters. I don't have a problem with the religions, brothers and sisters. I have a problem with the limitations that religions put on their followers. Don't let nobody control your spiritual destiny. Don't let nobody control your spiritual destiny. Don't let nobody dictate your spiritual destiny. Don't let nobody dictate your spiritual destiny. Oh, yeah. Don't let them do it. Intuition. You know. But the problem is we keep on letting our human intelligence talk us out of our divine intelligence. We keep on letting our human intelligence talk us out of our divine intelligence. We keep on letting our human intelligence talk us out of our divine intelligence. That white man mind start telling you, you don't know what you're talking about. You ain't got no proof. You ain't got no proof. What they say? Understand, overstand, and understand me. Understand, overstand, and understand me. Understand, overstand, and understand me. Once the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy is up and running, once the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy is up and running, we're going to have meditation night. We're going to have meditation night. We're going to go into the gym, pitch black, Candles burning, altars there, sage burning, and we're going to have our own meditation night for conscious African people. All night meditation in the dark. You have to go into the dark in order to see the light. I said you have to go into the dark in order to see the light. I said you have to go into the dark in order to see the light. Let me tell you something my ancestors do Because I have so much I'm working on, right? I have so much I have to do I got Bishop Turner National Independent Black Political Movement I got National Independent Black Parent Association I got Teen Pan-African I got Ifa Tunde University I got the National Movement to Save Black Boys I got my book tour I got my professional school psychology work I have a lot that I do. I have to help parents with their children. So my mind is often so active. Spirit cannot send me the messages. My mind is so active that spirit doesn't always send me the messages. So what spirit will do for me. What the blood of Jesus. All right, Sonia, you're vibrating on a low level. Sister Sonia Simpson. You vibrating on a low level, sister. I did not disrespect your religion. I did not disrespect the white Jesus you worship. I did not disrespect your religion. I did not disrespect the white Jesus you worship. Sister Sonya Simpson, I did not disrespect your religion. I did not disrespect your white Jesus. The problem with you religious Negroes and this is why many of you are spiritually trapped. One of the one of the main ways that the spirit of evil keeps the children of God from reaching one of the ways the spirit of evil keeps the children of God from reaching emancipation of the soul 
is by convincing you that your way is the only way and that anybody who doesn't believe in your way is automatically the devil. That is a spiritual trap because what it does, Sister Sonya Sampson, is it handcuffs you from ever learning more about the divine pathway. It handcuffs you, Sister Sonya Simpson. I'm gonna call you Sonya Simpleton. I'm gonna call you Sonya Simpleton. So Miss Simpleton, the fact that you are so narrow-minded and the fact that you cannot even conceive of a spiritual reality outside of a religion that is only 2,000 years old. The fact that you can't possibly fathom the possibility that your ancestors had a relationship with God that was better than the one that you have, and they had that relationship before Jesus. I didn't say anything was wrong with Jesus. I didn't say anything was wrong with Christianity. I didn't say anything was wrong with M Moses. I didn't say anything was wrong with the Hebrew faith. I didn't say anything wrong was, was wrong with Muhammad Ibn Abdullah. I don't see nothing wrong with Islam. I said that when you are brainwashed into thinking that a 2000 year old religion has all the answers to a two million year old people. Let me say it again. Let me say this again. I said, when you think that a 2000 year old religion has all the answers for a two million year old people. Let me say it one more time. When you think a 2000 year old religion has all the answers for a two million year old people. You are blocking. You are blocking your ability to grow and develop spiritually. Let me tell you who needs God more than we do. The church needs God more than we do. The masjid needs God more than we do. The temple needs God more than we do. Yep. These institutions that claim to be about my father's work, these institutions that claim to be about my father's work, in these institutions that claim to be about my father's work, rarely can my father be found. These institutions that claim to be about my father's work, although rarely can my father be found in these institutions where adultery is running rampant, is running rampant. Self-hatred is running rampant. Worship of white images is running rampant. Worship of Arab culture is running rampant. No priority at all for the study of the spiritual culture of African people. No priority at all for the study of the contribution of African people. No spiritual priority at all for the struggles of African people. How can you not pay any attention to God's original people? How can you not pay any attention to the problems of God's chosen people? How can you not be concerned about the history and life of God's original people, God's most spiritual people, God's first people? How can you ignore the situation of God's original people and claim your religion to be holy. When I walk into your church, I am a manifestation of living supreme consciousness. 
but you will not address my economic problems. You will not address my political problems. You will not address my educational problems. You will not address my criminal justice problems. You will ignore all of the problems that are trapping and surrounding God's original people and yet you will profess to be holy. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters. Oh. Mm. Phones is dropping all over the place. Spirit must be in here with me. I'm about to go get something to eat here in Wilmington, Delaware. I'm about to go get something to eat here in Wilmington, Delaware. I don't know if I'm going to hit up the Drop Squad. I don't know if I'm going to hit up Red Lobster. I don't know if I'm going to hit up the Brandywine Diner. I don't know if I'm going to hit up Texas Longhorn. Where the other black restaurants in Wilmington? I might need to hit up one of the other black restaurants in Wilmington, Delaware. Black restaurants, hit me up in Wilmington, Delaware. If you're a black-owned restaurant and I've never been to your restaurant, Text Dr. Umar, 215-989-9858. Text Dr. Umar, 215-989-9858. But let me say this, we're not done yet. We're not done. As much as Big Papa loves to eat the food that goes in my stomach, as much as Big Papa likes to eat the food that goes in my stomach, as much as Big Papa loves to eat the food that goes in my stomach, I would much rather eat the food that feeds my soul. I would much rather eat the food that feeds my consciousness. I would much rather eat the food that feeds my people. I would much rather eat the food that leads to the liberation of African people, brothers and sisters. I love me a nice cheesesteak. I love me some vegan tacos. I love me an obatala shake. I love me some pizza. I love me some beef ribs, some mac and cheese, some greens with the turkey butts and the turkey juice. Some deviled eggs and some seafood. Some pan seared salmon. I love me some butter almond. I love me some... Let me be, let me, let me focus. Let me focus. Fellas, stay focused. But as much as I love the foods that please the body, as much as I love the foods that feed the body, I would go hungry for the food that feeds my soul. I would go hungry for the food that feeds my spirit. I would go hungry for the food that feeds my mind. I would go hungry for the food that feeds my consciousness. I would go hungry for the food that liberates my people. So we talked about clairvoyance, the ability to see. Third eye. Shut these, open this one. 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 Clear audience, the ability to hear spirit. Clear sentence, the ability to feel spirit. Intuition, the ability to know without evidence. Intuition, the ability to know without evidence. Clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, intuition. There's one more I want to talk about. There's one more I want to talk about. And I want you all to know right now that this fifth and final spiritual sense, and there's others, but this fifth and final spiritual sense that I'm going to talk about is responsible for me being the most prolific orator of my race in the 21st century. This final sense is responsible for me being the most requested black scholar on the face of the earth for the past 12 years. This last and final sense is responsible for me being the most influential public speaker of this generation. And guess what that sense is called? 
Guess what that sense is called? Clear cognizance. Not clear audience, not clear sentience, not clairvoyance, not intuition, clear cognizance. Does anybody know what clear cognizance is? Clear cognizance is the ability to receive divine intelligence in the moment when you need it. Clear cognizance is related to intuition, but intuition is more about a spiritual knowing, whereas clear cognizance is when divine intelligence provides you with facts and information that you never studied and could never have been proven to learn. There's been times when I give my speech and there's been times when you were given speeches and there's been times when you were given presentations and there's been times when you've been in conversations and there's been times when you were searching for the answers to things beyond the spiritual. Intuition is the spiritual answer. But there's also a time when you need to know how this works or you need to know when did this happen or you need to know what exactly did they do. And the information, the scholarly, worldly information comes to you in the moment when you need it and how you need it. Clear cognizance. I have a very strong gift of clear cognizance. Sometimes I'll be given a speech and some of you have seen me do this. If you've seen your preacher do this, sometimes I'll be given a speech. Sometimes I'll be given a speech and I'll start running off information that I didn't even know that I knew and that I never studied. Where did that come from? I never studied that. How did I know that? In the moment, how did I know that? It's because spirit downloaded into my mind in the moment the information that I need. And I believe those of us who are divinely chosen to organize or lead, those of us who are divinely chosen to organize or lead we need clear cognizance to help us find a way out of no way. We need clear cognizance to make sure we are making the right decisions in the moment. The struggle is political as much as it is spiritual. We must pay attention to the political and we must pay attention to the spiritual. We must pay attention to the political and we must pay attention to the spiritual. I need to go find me some chicken noodle soup, some vitamin C tablets, some coconut water, some cayenne pepper, some black seed oil, some apple cider vinegar and get myself together. 